Next week, the Socialist Alternative is holding the annual Marxist Convention in Melbourne. Krista Pasquale is the events organiser and he joins me now. Welcome. Hi, Matilda. So, could you tell me a bit about the Marxist Conference? Yeah, sure thing. So, um, it's a conference that takes place annually uh, over the Easter weekend. Um, and it brings together um, usually um, over about a thousand uh, people from around Australia. Plus, we have international speakers and international guests who come. Um, so, yeah, it's a conference. Um, where basically uh, we talk through um, um, Marxist politics and ideas, um, but as well as you know philosophy, art, culture, literature, and so on, um, as well as um, you know contemporary debates that are going on um, in the world. Um, and it's a way for us to um, kind of um, debate and discuss the issues which uh, we think are important um, in terms of you know building an alternative uh, to you know what we see today. Yeah. So what are, what are some of the main policy issues that will be addressed at the conference? Well. I mean, there's a there's kind of a whole breadth of things that are discussed, but I guess um, obviously, um, you know, the election of Trump um, last year, plus um, you know, uh, you know, big issues in world politics like Brexit, um, and you know, the rise of the far right in Europe, um, and also here in Australia with um, One Nation and Pauline Hanson. So these are the kind of the big issues that we're that we're looking at, um, and some, um, and they present, uh, I guess. Um, New, new kind of, it's a new kind of um, era in politics that people have to respond to. Um, so those are some of the main uh, things we'll be debating. So you were speaking about some of the speakers that you were having on. Yep. Um, there's been some uh, issues with uh, Bassam El Tamimi yep. coming to speak. So um, he's uh, the protester for a Palestinian peace yep. protester for occupying the West Bank. So could you tell me a bit about that? Yeah. Okay. So Bassam Tamimi is a um, he's a protest or oh, he's an activist from um, Nabi Saleh which is in the West Bank um, uh, currently um, yeah, it's under, under occupation um, by um, the Israeli Defense Force um, and so he's um, for um, over for decades now has been regularly protesting um, against uh, Israeli occupation um, and so he's been I think he's been arrested about nine times um, he's been held in administrative detention without charge for um, a number of years um, Amnesty International um, referred to him as a prisoner of conscience um, so um, yeah, he yeah he's quite he's quite renowned, um, quite a renowned Palestinian activist. Um, so his um, visa was held up um, by the Australian government. Um, what they were um, wanting him to do was to gain authority or get approval, basically, um, from the Israeli police um, for to, to have his visa granted for Australia. Now this is, I mean. It's quite a ridiculous um, demand, I think, um, considering that he's a Palestinian. Um, he has an, he has a passport issued by the um, Palestinian Authority. Um, you would think that Israel has no uh, jurisdiction here to, you know, either approve or deny his visa. Yet this was one of the demands that was placed on him. Um, the good news, though, is that um, his visa just yesterday was granted mm -hmm. um, by the government after a, an online uh, social media campaign and a petition. Um, so the word was spread around. Um, so um, yeah, because of that good work, um, we can yeah, um, we'll get to see Bassam speak um, uh, at opening night, uh, which is next week uh, of the Marxism conference. So you're from the Socialist Alternative, yeah. And the so we're, um, this is a Monash pr production, a Monash TV, obviously. Sure. And the Socialist Alternative and Monash have had a reasonably rocky history in the past couple of years. Um, could you sort of tell me about how your organisation is sort of adapting after having been sort of deregistered in 2014 to participating at Monash? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, so basically, um, yeah, our, our, the Socialist Alternative Club was um, deregistered uh, back in 2014. Um, we haven't been registered since. Um, we, there's a group of us that, um, that operate. Um, there's, we, yeah, we just, we, you know, have stalls and so on. Um, we, um, yeah, we try to find other like-minded people at Monash. We, I guess we, yeah, you have to be pretty flexible um, considering um, the kind of, yeah, um, what goes on at Monash and um, the difficult terrain it is to, to be political, but nonetheless, um, you know, we, we still do it. Um, we're still around um, and people are still interested in finding out more about socialist politics, um, finding out more about Marxist politics. So. Yeah, we, we find those people and we, yeah, we, we organise. Yeah. yeah, so so the deregistering occurred after sort of um, uh, some uh, issues across universities with um, possibly, uh, especially with issues of Israel and a potentially sort of, uh, 
accusations that the socialist alternative was sort of um, acting in an anti-Semitic way. How do you feel about that? That those sort of comments. That yeah, I mean uh, the the charge of anti-Semitism. Um, is not a new one um, that's made against uh, the left. Um, it's not just socialists, it's also, um, if you saw um, last year, there were um, numerous anti-Semitism um, anti charges made against Jeremy Corbyn, for example, um, who's the leader of the British Labour Party. Um, so that's um, obviously, like, as a socialist organisation, we take charges of anti-Semitism very seriously. We are um, an anti-racist organisation. Uh, we participate in anti-racist campaigns. Indeed, we lead um, anti-racist campaigns as well. For example, our organisation was involved in setting up the campaign against racism and fascism um, around Australia to combat the rise of um, neo-Nazis like the United Patriots Front and so on. So, um, and also um, some of our leading members in those campaigns are themselves Jewish, um, including uh, students here at Monash as well. So we take those charges of anti-Semitism very seriously. We reject um, anti-Semitism. Um, but I think that it's important to see the context within which is, which is, uh, in which this is occurring, which is the ongoing um, occupation um, by Israel um, of um, Palestinian territory, um, and that occupation takes place with impunity. Um, and so it's become a yeah, it's become something of a convenient charge for the defenders of Israel um, against um, you know left-wing people who stand against imperialism, stand with Palestinians. Um, to um, discredit them uh, by tiring them as anti-Semitic. And so um, we reject that, we reject that tactic. Um, and we, yeah, we stand in a tradition, a left-wing tradition of opposing anti-Semitism um, and racism in all of its forms. How do you feel about Monash's actions to re, uh, deregister the group? Um, oh, well, <laughs> not happy about it, yeah, obviously. obviously yeah. Um, but, you know, um, Monash uh, is going to do what they're going to do. Um, and, um, you know, uh, it's just uh, that's just that's just life of you know being an activist and being a socialist. You're not always going to be the most popular, but you you know you persevere, um, and um, hopefully uh, there are um, you know there are enough people out there who want to see change in the world, um, who are going to be attracted to um, your ideas and um, and uh, take part in you know progressive campaigns that happen. Thank you very much for being here with us. That was Krista Pasquale from The Socialist Alternative. Uh, you can see more of Mojo reporting at mojonews.com.au. Thank you for watching.